Okay, um, so much to talk about, and uh, I think my my brain is already try starting to melt. Um, that's that's the part where uh, uh, Jörg is uh, taking the microphone, smiling. <laughs> You have to be fresh all the time. I am. I am. I, I can keep my, my brain fresh while it is melting. That's uh, another Zen secret. That's the proof your brain is melting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, another. Uh, we have another uh, seconds left um, here at Champions Cup 2016 uh, in Berlin. Um, right now, how many people are watching? 250 people are in the live uh, chat, watching the live stream, listening to us all over the world. Uh, we have uh, teams from Australia, South America, uh, Colombia, um, from the northern countries, Finland, Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Uh, there are teams from uh, Sweden, uh, from uh, Spain, Italy. So. Uh, America is uh, here with Newark, and here we go. Uh, this is uh, Copenhagen uh, from Denmark in blue, and uh, the Castores uh, from uh, Colombia in white. And uh, uh, my guess and the Lorian's guess is uh, in favor of Castores, which uh, we don't take sides. It's just a guess from what we've seen in the games here. And please, 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 uh, we can only repeat that. Uh, we don't take sides. We don't criticize to uh, say this team is good, that team is bad. We just uh, estimate and uh, uh, talk about the capabilities and how they bring these capabilities in the water and transmit them in winning and scoring. Yeah, exactly. Hola, but Colombia. This was a very good uh, counter-attack from the Danish team. So, but uh, they still have the ball in possession in front of the goal. It's uh, the question how they th they can uh, put the pressure on the Castor's uh, goal, but uh, basically they play with a very deep heart. Uh, the, I'm 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 very impressed to see the the little girls. Uh, the how much yes, Castor's, yes, yeah. True. How much effort they put there. You you then uh, the Colonium ladies looks when you stand there in the, in the, beside the pool quite small but they yes, are yes but in the water they are really they are in beast full, mode full yeah. Yeah. Fire, yes yeah. definitely we again, again beast mode uh, 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 always you have and beast this, mode this with a, girls this uh, is that a, is shocking for me this is a total compliment to them because we played against them on uh, beast Thursday beast mode is a compliment beast mode no, is right not we have to really think it. That's, a, that's really an issue its brain is melting <laughs> You How often we said uh, okay, let's go back in the game. Let's go back <laughs> in the game. We talk about beasts later. So um, still there is Copenhagen here attacking uh, the uh, Castores basket, and that's a, a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit of a surprise. I uh, expected to be Castores uh, more uh, open, more swimming, but uh, the Copenhagen don't give them the possibility to open up the game. They keep them uh, in the defense, which uh, uh, naturally has a goalkeeper and a defender uh, in defense, so they have only two, two players for the forechecking. Now we have a cluster on the surface. Uh, which stops the game, well, uh, which I mean is in favor probably of Copenhagen because bodily they might be stronger. If uh, Castores it's wins, they will uh, play against Langen later today. Uh, so they still have a chance to, to go for the first to the third place. Okay, this is a very important game now for, for the Castores. Castores. Yes. Este es un juego importante para las castoras que si ganan pasarían a jugar contra el equipo alemán eh, hoy un poquito más tarde, eso de las nueve y, y media, para competir en las posiciones del primero al tercer puesto. Ya, yeah, you guys can continue. But it's again, you can see it's a matter of ball control. Uh, Copenhagen, uh, the girls uh, control more the yes more the ball, so that uh, gives them the advantage. And uh, if you have the ball. Obviously, you, you don't uh, get uh, scored against you. Yeah. So as long as you have the ball and control them, so the the castors have to think about how they get uh, control of the ball. Um. Uh, they have excellent defense uh, with full of heart and something like that, but uh, they need the ball to control it. That means uh, if they get the ball, they have to 
swim it out, getting the counter attack quick and fast and something like that. But yeah. the four checking is it's great. It's, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy from yeah, Copenhagen. So it's Copenhagen. It's directly on the second yeah. line. Already they're going to the ball, not to the body, and they escape from the castorsus to the surface, and they should not go on the surface. Yeah, and it's exhausting right now for the castorsus because they are running behind yeah. uh, the the Copenhagen. But now is the first chance in this game. Uh, after four minutes, the castorsus reach uh, the the basket of uh, Copenhagen. But uh, already uh, Copenhagen regained that ball, which was then with a little bit of a bad pass uh, in nowhere regained by Castoris. And now they go back in attack mode from the close side of the corner uh, of the basket of Copenhagen. And uh, the right now they are trying to attack one-on-one -on -one now. There's a second player. She didn't see the ball. And another player from Castoris comes in, but she is already tackled by a Copenhagen player. So the defense by Copenhagen is working, even though there was an empty basket. Um, but uh, Castoris are putting pressure now onto the basket. They come from the close side, uh, but they're tackled away by the physically probably uh, stronger Copenhagen players. So, um, mm, this is <laughs> no. Man, this just it's just interesting how the the, the team the, the game switched now because before we saw them clustering uh, the Copenhagen players over their basket. Now they are clustering over uh, the the uh, uh, Castores are clustered by uh, you know the Copenhagen players. What surprises but me? The, the three three Castores players on the surface. That, yeah. that's the problem. That's that's bad. And that's going bad going call. up makes no sense at all. Again no. now. Uh, Copenhagen now they, they do it the, the counter and they come directly to the goal yes and there are one two three four people uh, in a in a row are available but the attack is too high so yes now, and it now the counter attack now they should go one two three but they're going with one stopped on the second lane and uh, all, all the, the, the stations, uh, the Castores player who went into the middle of the pool, all the, the one player who could uh, receive the ball was marked by a Copenhagen player. And uh, it took too long to break through. Now they are at the Copenhagen basket, trying their attack on the close side from the corner. And uh, there is a Castores player waiting. There's a call from the referee. Yeah, probably it was pushing. That was pushing without the ball. Yeah. Yes. Too yeah. close on the goal. And it's again the hands behind the goal. There cannot technically never be a ball. Or you push the ball on one side through the through the metal and push it out on the other side through the metal out as well. Never saw that happen. You know what? It's a surprise for me that uh, the Castores are not moving as fast as they used to yes in the past. Do, yeah. they are, they're a little bit slower in the movement and in the reactions Tired. and everything. I don't know, or maybe too uh, excited, too nervous. Um, they have so much, ex too much expectations uh, yeah, for the cat. Like Jörg said, uh, there is a lot of pressure on the Castores. A um, lot of people watching and want them to, to win this uh, tournament uh, because they're here the first time. Nevertheless, and here uh, in a situation like this, uh, this can easily change. Now there's a Castores player on the basket and oh, that was close. That was very Castores close. player was lying on the basket, stealing away the goalie, that but she turned around too slow in the wrong direction. If she turned in the other direction, she would have pushed away the uh, defender coming up. So um, she, she actually pushed the ball in the hands of the defender coming up and taking the, the goalie space. So uh, that was close and that was well done and could have changed the game, but um, didn't happen. And now we see uh, uh, we see Copenhagen I mean it's a very and Castores. Tight fight. Yeah, I'm it is. It is because it's much more physical than in any of the other uh, games we saw. I mean, they're stopping too much on fighting uh, on one against one for the ball than in in other games. Uh, and, and both teams have, have difficulties of breaking free if they are under attack, of, of breaking out of uh, uh, this attack, uh, of this defense mode and going into attack because the other team is pushing really hard. And now uh, the, the scene just changed. We are at the Castores uh, basket at the close side and uh, the Copenhagen players try to come from the corner and they push from the close side into the defense. Now a little bit into the pool area, they try to build up momentum, give them room, um, 
But they are under attack from the Castores, and uh, now they are again two Castores uh, tackling a uh, Copenhagen player. They tr rip the ball free, and now they are uh, close of uh, um, breaking free. And this Castores player is, did a very good job going on the surface, passing down again to the other player waiting down. But she's all alone and already attacked by um, two Copenhagen players which makes it difficult for her to get the ball free, but uh, again, we have the action and the cluster at uh, the basket. Yeah, um, really I'm a very um, surprised by the, the, the game of Copenhagen um, because um, I thought that it was going to be a little bit more clear on the Colombian side, but they're doing a great job. Uh, the Danish girls uh, defending and, and, you know, not letting the Castores do their game. I, my opinion is that the Castores are more reacting to the game of the Danish than what they are doing, playing and marking a pace. I, th I think uh, that the, the Castores uh, go too quick in the physical contact. Uh, yes. contact. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the, the, the uh, Danish team is much more smarter in avoid that and control the game. It's not benefit right now, but uh, it's still a, a chance uh, for them to control the game. So the defense is okay. Yes. And as you see, there's a movement. The movement was left around against yes. clock, clockwise. And that's again human beings behavior. Everywhere, if you look in light athletics, 500 meter you go against clockwise what? try to move clockwise in underwater it's totally difficult normally you have right-handed balls that means you have the hand and you try to cover yes, this and you go right. so against clock. I never but thought it that way you're right Man, no, no, I learned uh, something. Changing behavior. <laughs> changing behavior is changing behavior. Quite I, yeah. had, I, I had to play out which uh, attack former times a goalkeeper always uh, clockwise and he was successful with this yeah you told us but, uh, but you cannot do that i try to do copy this and something like that no, either it's and, natural. Then it's, and that's again muscle memory so if you want to do something you have to practice this 100 times 1000 times 1 million times and that that request a lot of discipline discipline yeah, and that is what uh, that is really the, 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 the difficulties and that is uh, if you don't in brackets get money for that uh, why I should do something which feel uncomfortable it's against the uh, uh, human behavior so you have to break off your pattern and that's so uh, in, in especially in our sports and three dimensional sports and if you are able to break off the pattern then you get a big, big advantage compared yeah, to others. To so yeah. that's, that is uh, something which is uh, really, really important. Yeah. And the discipline to train it. Normally people try to do it, and then and they said, oh, it doesn't work, I'm comfortable, yeah. why should do that? Huh? Yeah. And <laughs> the, 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 the game is always, you win the game when you can do something that what others that cannot that. do. Yeah. Now, like the Molde player, when he gets in the, 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 the attacker, if he gets the ball in a certain position on the, on the basket, he makes the goal. Yes, and that's 100% effectivity. Yeah. Yeah. And he's doing always the same move. True, okay. yeah, I know these yeah. players. Yeah. <laughs> that is what, what, what you have to really understand, and that is what you have to, to train. So um, um, another thing I wanted to talk about, but we uh, think the next uh, the next half will start in the second, uh, is how to prevent injuries. And I think that's uh, really a nice, uh, important thing to talk about. And I wanted to hear uh, your two experience. But we're back in the game. And uh, this is uh, Copenhagen from Denmark against Castores from Colombia. And uh, Castores are white and Denmark is blue. And it's still 0-0 zero, zero we see here. Um, my guess is uh, Copenhagen uh, uh, is, has a little bit of an advantage in this game uh, because they are uh, stronger, um, but uh, the Castores are able to, to uh, provoke uh, advantage in the game. Call from a referee. Um, what don't know what happened. 
looks uh, we still ha don't have a, a sign from the referee so we can tell if it's uh, free so throw. the referee we see the surface camera which timeout, timeout. Uh, we don't know two minutes against cut Torres and uh, timeout so here is my hypothesis or my thesis about uh, injuries um, which which I just want to put out there um, we have a lot of uh, new players which uh, start uh, playing a lot of underwater rugby they start and they uh, sometimes they come every day they're really into it they are strong but um, what I found out they uh, uh, really fast uh, uh, go in this injury circle they have uh, injury in the shoulder uh, they have injuries in the fingers in the elbows um, not so often in the knees but mostly shoulders or the neck and um, I think uh, uh, my theory is if you start too fast uh, doing too much a new sport and even you have the capabilities your body has to adapt and if you uh, overrun your own system and don't give them time to adapt to these new uh, uh, challenges uh, you're, uh, um, it's easy to hurt yourself all right, everybody agrees. Let's go back in the game. <laughs> you was talking all the time. So how we should disagree? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. Uh, Copenhagen this is, is typical attacking. human behavior. Talk as long as possible, but nobody has a chance to disagree. So uh, you want me? Wolf, Wolf, you're a woman. You want me to I'm show you something? <laughs> oh come on! So, um, Castores are defending. That, that should be peep. It's, it's, it's a free throw against uh, Castores, and we didn't see which was uh, the fault. But they, they af this is after the timeout, and um, now there's a free throw against Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, the signs of the referee sometimes are not really clear that we can see and tell what 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 was the problem. Where was the fall? And uh, now we're in the middle of the field fighting for the ball. Um, Colombia is trying to get to the Danish side. Uh, the one Colombian girl took over the basket, but um, the Danish team is defending that's very confident. That's, that's strange. There are, there are one woman less in the team, and instead of playing the ball, they, they, this, uh, they protect the, the Di different baskets, so they have less position. They have already one one less. And if you want to go this as a really as an attack, you have to s go with all. Make sure that she gets the ball. Yes. But and then you have to get out of the cluster. Yeah. No, but uh, it's oh that yeah. was really turn around. Close. Turn around, right. but I'm oh. surprising that that the the Danish let that basket uh, open for so long and didn't even bother. That the Colombians were, you know, uh, getting uh, on top of the basket. Um, that is, uh, I didn't see that very often before, and so I don't know why, because that was quite risky. No risk, no fun. <laughs> Next is time. this an official <laughs> quote? <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Sorry, I was reading right now, but that that uh, triggered my alarm system. <laughs> uh, so, if if it doesn't work like this, it looks cool and makes a higher frustration. Yeah. <laughs> nah? Yes, but that's you correct. You have to be. Uh, nah? uh, somehow Nerves you have to be a little bit uh, cooler than the the opponent. Um, but uh, I cannot understand uh, the tactics behind that. Because if the if you steal the basket f from 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 the goalkeeper, um, then y you have to find a system that the ball goes there. Yeah. And if you have the ball, you have to have the right move. You yeah. should be not astonished that you get the ball. Yeah. And True. that is, uh, that's surprise. True. Oh, now I have the ball. Now I have to turn. And, and, and that's what I say. Uh, what I mean with uh, uh, thinking. Uh, no? So they should. Know what to do. Nah, you Either you know what to do by heart and your muscle know yeah. it, or uh, yes. just don't do it. So uh, let's go into the game. Five minutes, a little bit more than five minutes left, and uh, uh, it it could it could be the lucky shot now, but I don't see 
I know any I don't really team. see any of the team in so much uh, control yeah. that they are really provoking. But if it a goes to penalty, I'm quite sure uh, uh, Copenhagen has an advantage. Um, yeah, the same like a car. Yes. Yeah, the longer arms, the longer legs, and um, that really make a difference if you can, if you know how to to use it in your favor. Um, but I'm surprised. Uh, okay, now we have uh, that. That took too long. That took too long to get the ball there. Three Colombians against a Copenhagen goalie, but somehow the the, the Copenhagen uh, girls managed to 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 take that ball away, uh, and that was quite risky. I mean, right now I see Colombia um, stressing uh, Copenhagen a bit more than before. Now I mean, before it was Denmark uh, to Colombia. Now it's Colombia to Denmark. And it's four and a half minutes. It's too much of a fight on the surface. Um, uh, okay, Daniel is telling us that the Daniel's players are playing with goalies doubling as backs, and that's why the basket becomes empty sometimes. Interesting. Um, okay, this frees uh, uh, players for uh, the middle field and for the forechecking. Um, it's it's like uh, the old style where the the um, where the goalie goes in front of the the goal mm, and doesn't no. like uh, you don't play with well the defender as far yes, as I understood. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, this was close. This was really yeah. close for the Castores, but uh, she pushed the ball directly in the arm of the goalie who just turned around and had her arm. Uh, um, well, that ball is about to fall down. It fell, fell down, fell in the arms of the Castora that it was just lying on top of the basket. It was very close. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, the Danish team plays uh, with left uh, defense, but uh, at least they, the Castoras cannot benefit out of that. Yeah, I mean... Huh? It but they constantly take over the basket and it's it's and uh, it's, it's quite stressful for yeah, me but was this a goal no no no, no, no because it was a fault before no no uh they, so they it was a free throw, throw looks like a free throw against castores and time, time out now yeah. so um back to injuries yes so um, common back to injuries are a, a big problem for a coach you have a you have a team assembled. Uh, you train with them. You have injuries. Probably not what I told you happens, but you accidentally you have injuries. How do you deal with them? Um, you have to have a plan B. But uh, uh, player-wise, or uh, because every time you have a situation, we had almost an injury uh, on the World Championship, which has nothing to do uh, with with. Uh, uh, just by, by, by with rugby, and uh, then you have to have a plan B. You have to have alternatives. True, but the, the, the my question is uh, not to have an alternative player or an alternative play system, but what do you do as a player um, when you arrange it? How do you prevent injuries? And I'm not talking good about accidents. Physical, good physical condition. Okay. Every time, if you, your body is uh, better trained and your muscles are strong, then uh, you have a strong neck muscles. Look for other, other sports like exactly. American American that's football. No? That's, that, that's that my they, question. They yes. have, no? Okay. That then you have to train the, the critical spots. Yes. And then uh, the, no, as a goalkeeper, goalkeeper has a strong neck. Yes. Okay. Should have a strong Go neck. Go back in the game. I want to talk about it uh, uh, in the break again. But now we have uh, two minutes left, and this will be. This is a decisive game for the Castores who are uh, quite eager to win here. They have to score to go on in this uh, Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. And um, they are quite eager, um, like the, car, the the Danish, but uh, it looks like it's going to be a 0-0 zero zero at the yeah. end and we it move directly to the... Get more and uh, this is... Uh, There's no flow no. in the game. It's just fighting in the surface and... Yes. It's not... So, and you see no forechecking, just yeah. defense, something like that. And that is... Uh, and forget about the, the, the body. Of go for the ball. That is... We are... We I feel a little bit... Uh, we are repeating ourselves. No? Yeah. Uh, 
But, but that, that's uh, important. But, but do you agree? You, the tire, more tired you get, the more you go for the body and the less for the ball, because it takes more concentration and fitness to go for the ball. You have to be faster and uh, more concentrated uh, than uh, uh, when you're tired. That's a base condition. You have to be. <laughs> You have to be able to stand at least uh, the whole playing time. Uh, Absolutely, true. Yeah? And if you can't do this and you find get this clustering, what and then it, you, you have the problems. And then the, the, the mistakes, uh, the penalties, and the, the three throws get, uh, get against you. And if you are uh, with less players in the water, it's already a disadvantage. Um. Yeah? And the, the physical game uh, is not not supportive uh, anything so we have 30 seconds left uh, here in uh, uh, in this game Copenhagen against Castores and uh, I don't know do you think uh, Copenhagen is playing for the penalties um, no they try no. to no 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 I don't think both of but them anyway it's 30 s 35 yeah. seconds nothing will yeah. happen I think there is one chance uh, not at all no, that's it. Another call from the referees. Okay, we will see penalties, and this will be interesting. Free throw against uh, uh, the Castores. This will be a tough one for the Castores, I think, again. Uh, ten seconds. Yeah, definitely. Uh Last attack from Denmark uh, towards Colombia. They just stop a meter in front of the basket, and that's the end of the game. So now mm. we have penalties. Okay, so three minutes break. break. So, uh, so if you, for, for coming back to the injuries, and if you have young player, before you put them too much pressure and teach them how to play without uh, without well, body contact. Without body contact. Yep. I think in the when we see uh, the the ladies teams, we have excellent goalkeepers and excellent defenders because when they play together with men that it's a preferred position for them mm -hmm. so uh, now when i look for 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 f in, in in germany we have excellent uh, um, uh, defense we have excellent goalkeepers uh, the, the, to find the strong attackers which are really make the goal that is uh, basically difficult the, the, the things which you have to establish yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that is uh, the same if you have a young team young motivated player try to avoid this 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 physical game yeah this, more this, mobility, this, more swimming. this they can do later when they get stronger when their body is and something like that and then you avoid injuries as well um, uh, and then you can say, hey, don't, don't, uh, if you, you bring the, 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 the ball in cluster, we stop the game. Yeah. And it's yeah. this, uh, for me, it does mean too, not only uh, good conditioning in the water, but also uh, uh, um, training and using the muscles out of the water. So you get a, a, a balance in your body. Because if you're just doing one sport, even though underwater rugby is quite a whole body uh, sport, but nevertheless, uh, you should uh, concentrate on training muscles you're not using in underwater rugby. And uh, mobility training, yeah, uh, flexibility, as flexibility well, as mobility important. training, and uh, this uh, deep muscle training, I uh, think that can give you an edge uh, in in the game. Especially mobility is a thing I'm thinking a lot about uh, in the last uh, 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 month. And uh, in my work as a fitness coach too, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, keep thinking about mobility as one of the keys not having injuries to be able to move in a full range of movement uh, controlled is very important in underwater rugby especially for these shoulders where we when we keep the ball and try to 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 work with uh, with our arms and they're exposed and you have pressure on the shoulder and uh, of course the warming up yes before it, the training yeah. it's very important i mean important. i love we had such a great uh, warming up uh, training before we we play um, in the in the world cup we, we one hour between outside the water and inside the water we you you measure we were swimming like 1.5 kilometers something like 1. that 1.4 1. 1. 4. But, but, but the thing uh, and that uh, was yeah, great you yeah, yeah so absolutely tuned. but again again i have to say this is we are talking about national uh, 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 competitions and national training how to break this down to the clubs uh, having only one hour pool time one and 1.2 kilometers <laughs> <laughs> no 
I really think uh, uh, no uh, it, 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 it is a problem because um, talk. Okay, here we go on the penalties. Yeah. Uh, stop this uh, conversation and. Uh, uh, Copenhagen players are uh, attacking from the top, going over the head, under the basket, is now under the goalkeeper and uh, waiting. We've seen this before. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And the Castores yeah. uh, goal she is. Uh, she's small. No, she's just. Uh, did you see what the goalie did with the, with the legs? This is something they do a lot in Colombia. And, he, uh, and, and, and here it's, that is almost at the gray zone with kicking. And actually, uh, as a goalkeeper. If, if you swim that, inside, if you swim as an attacker in these uh, feet. Yeah, but this sure, movement, sure. I mean. Sure. I talked to Bob uh, about. Uh, Don't Bob. swim into the fence. No, I, I, <laughs> I know, but sometimes... Uh, it okay, the other uh, uh, penalty, and now uh, Castores attacking. She's going uh, deep, not over the head, over the basket, try to go... Uh, and going up on the surface again, and now probably she's tried uh, over the head, directly over the basket, right? She's going and in the, the fins, under the... Yes, she's under... She's holding the goalkeeper. herself into the wall uh, a little she's bit. She's, that's she's holding herself into the wall. She's that's pushing that's against the wall, that's true. And now we very well done, one but one. Uh, we saw the, the um, advantage the uh, Copenhagen player has with uh, the, her longer body when, when the Castoris player tried to uh, rip, wrap her arm around her uh, waist. It was difficult for her to push her up because uh, the Copenhagen player was much in the, her body was much longer, so it's a uh, it's a little bit of an but advantage. Uh, there's no there's no limitation of body size. I never said so. I just want to remind you. <laughs> okay, I keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I take it as a quote. I mean, <laughs> I think that my penalties. Okay. Uh, this and another penalty. The uh, Danish have a little more, more of a chance. Castoris um, on the basket. Very experienced. You see, I mean, this is this is kicking. Yeah, you see? that's the call from the goalkeeper. She ah, no, because she lost the fin. Yeah, and the, and and this is the, the same situation we no, had before. No, because the other one was the attacker, and, ah, the, sure. and the defender, you know, has to keep you away. So, uh, it's uh, even though the rule is applied for everyone, as I mentioned, you have to stop it. Um, as a goalkeeper, it's even more dangerous. Repeat. Okay, repeat. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah. It will be repeat. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's the thing. If I thought that if you do that as a goalie, the, 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 the referee is to stop it like if it's like you're kicking, you know? Mm, that's the wrong side. She crept her about. Ooh! Ah, th she's too far away. Mm. That cool. was a, cool. a mistake from so the Danish side. You don't that was excellent. Yeah. And what no, I no, was no. She had a there little was bit a of free ball yeah. and uh, yeah. the, the, the goalkeeper react she and had a, she had a little bit of luck the the attacker didn't push the ball more so she could she had time to catch it by driving uh, down yeah but this is when even she repeats uh, the penalty throw why you don't do fresh play and even one attack and now you try again to someone else yeah whatever change change you the, the the pattern and something like that and she was too sure that the ball goes in. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. To throw let it like that, you shouldn't let, let throw it fall. Like then the the castor spear had let her go. Yeah. 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 But this is something that you have to be smarter. Yeah. So and the the next see, penalty. Uh, and this is a lot of Copenhagen pressure. Copenhagen on the, the basket. To the to they the goalie. I, I for me they go too. From, too above. So you now they, sh they they are under the goal, they can position the goalkeeper, and takes the time. Yeah. Tim takes the time. And this is a lot of pressure on the goalie because she. Go up. Go up. Stop it. Go up. Don't try it. Uh, she's she's free with the ball, but she yeah, yeah she got it. Wow. Cool. Okay, so two one. I think one. I think mentally uh, here the attacker did win. Uh, it was just uh, at the point uh, where uh, the the goalkeeper gave up. Uh, Castoras uh, acaba de ganar por penaltis 2 a 1 contra Copenhagen. Uh, 
la portera uh, de Castoras pudo um, salvar un penal y uh, la siguiente Castoras convirtió el penalti contra Dinamarca. Fue un partido muy duro, muy igualado. Eh, y bueno, ahora eh, Castoras pasa a, la, um, a pelear por las posiciones del primero al tercer puesto y va a estar jugando contra Langen, um, el equipo alemán, a las nueve y media. Uh, that means that Castoras will be playing against Langen at 9.30 in the you know, fight um, to go from the first to the third place en um, Copenhagen. It's going to go to play against uh, Barcelona at 7 later today. <laughs> 